Okay, welcome to the IFA Academy COVID-19 Jiu-Jitsu lesson for today. This is gonna start with the scramble. All right, and so I'm on my back. This is such an important skill. So many people lose position, they lose matches because they're not quick enough to get their base. All right, when you break open the space, you gotta be able to whip over your legs and come up to your base quickly. Because time is of the essence. If he puts his weight on you or applies some other leverage counter, half Nelson, quarter Nelson, cross face, <clears throat> etc., then you will halfway turn to get up and then fail. He'll put your weight on your back again. So if you have been a little quicker, you've gotten up. So from here, what I'm going to do, my elbows are in, my legs are posted. I'm going to bump up to launch his weight just a few inches off of me. Before it comes back down, I'm already on my side. So I've already won half the battle by getting on my side. It's easier to breathe and I'm balled up so he can't seal in side control. I'm more of an egg shaped actually. But then I can move my hips away so that he can't cover my hips and stomach and it makes it easier to turn the rest of the way. If I bump and turn like this and try to turn over, well, he's there. I can't turn into him. So I gotta move my hips away and get that distance between my hips and his, and then I whip my legs over and I don't just get up. I turn under and I back up. When I back up like this, his leg is right there, and then I can scramble for that leg and finish my takedown. So we're gonna do more than just scramble. Initially, yes, I'm here, and boom, and I'm up. And I keep practicing. I'm here, boom, up. Then, or I can shorten it, just be throwing my hips out and up. But what I want to do is train my follow-up takedown. So I'm here, I bridge, and it's a quick bridge, it's a bump. It's not a high amplitude arching kind of bridge. It's throwing him in the air with my hips, boom, like that. And on the recoil, I'm already out with my hips and see how my feet are? I got to switch them. Then I turn under, back up, go to the leg. I'm hugging his left leg, and then I'm here, and I grab the ankle, and I circle behind, or I pop out. I can circle behind and take him down, or I pop out to a back bear hug and proceed from there. So it's such a great drill, and you can do it without a partner, just an open floor, and you're training a lot of uh, Good skills and attributes at the same time. Here, notice the elbows in. Here, notice I can do it without even using my hands. I can bump, turn under, use my shoulder and get up. Then, imagine where he is, circle to that leg, finish your takedown, and then circle behind to pass.